My name is Angel Pizarro. This is my son, Brandon Pizarro. And uh, we're from Front Street Gym. And it's a pleasure for us to do this beautiful interview. Um, Brandon, um, how you started with the boxing? ¿Cómo te gustó el boxeo? ¿Cómo empezaste en el boxeo? I mean, my dad used to show me a lot of boxing, and he, he used to box himself, but then my grandma wasn't letting him continue his dream, so I just took over and did what he couldn't do. And um, how how you like it since you started? ¿Cómo te gustó el empezaste? I love it. I mean, as you can see, I'm three-time ringside world champion. I'm defeated, and I got a lot of wins, and keep going now. Cool. And um, also, um, uh, Florida State Pals champion, um, the Junior Olympics region champion, Junior Olympic district champion, yes, and we also went to the nationals in uh, 2014. Yeah. And, and tell us about some of the knocks that you've had in your life before you became a champion. What, what was that like, fighting in the ring and not knowing you know, where you were headed? I mean, it was like, I felt good just getting in the ring, just in general, like, and then, you know, it takes a lot of hard work to get where I'm at now. I just, it didn't happen overnight. It was really tough, a lot of hard work and dedication, sacrifices and everything just to get where I'm at now. And when you talk about dedication and hard work, what do you mean by that? Running every day, eating right, uh, not hanging out with your friends, not going out on the weekends, like, sacrificing to be hanging out and being a normal teenager to be where I'm at and I'm successful with it so I'm grateful. Waking up at 6 in the morning to go to school, come from school, do homework, hit the gym, it's a routine non-stop. And how did Ringside get a hold of you? Wow, we was, we was introduced um, by Milton Santiago which just came out of Harrogate um, boxing gym and um, he introduced us to the ringside worlds, and we was like, you know what, let's do it. The first year we went out there, uh, we made it all the way down to the finals, and uh, we lost at the finals. And um, next thing you know, after that, I told my son, I promise you, you will never lose again. And we did it three years back to back. And this last year, we had so much fun. Um, he beat Gabriel Flores, which is from, I think the kid is from Oxford, California. He's um, ranked number one in the nation. And right now, Brandon is like all over the computer because he succeeded something that a lot of kids couldn't. How, how old is he, or you could say, or 15 years old. I just turned 15 in October. You just turned 15? Yes. October what? October 18th. How, how many years have you been boxing? Uh, uh, roughly seven years, seven, eight years. Yeah, I was introduced to a young, and then just took it from there. And so when you said about your father that your grandmother wouldn't let him follow his dream, can we ask you, sir, about what your dream was? Sure. My dream, my dream is like any kid that starts with the boxing world to become a world champ and help their family, especially their mom, get that one house for mom. And um, after I come out from the gym to get beat up from the sparrings, I used to get beat up by my mom <laughs> because she didn't like me to do the boxing. Uh, my first trainer, I'll never forget, was Mr. Felix Trinidad Sr. in Puerto Rico. And um, I have much respect for him. And I thank him so much because he taught me his knowledge. So now I'll pass it to Brandon. And here we are. So we got beautiful dreams and we're going to continue. Absolutely. And uh, we want to also help the kids. Hopefully, if everything works great in our paths, we're going to, you know, we got big things for these kids because. Charlie knows uh, a little bit about me. Um, I'm a great guy. I'm a single dad. And, you know, we've been through so much, and now these kids going through so much also. And we always there. We don't, don't teach just boxing. We talk to these kids. Anything that we could do for them to get them off the street, we hear for them. We got all ears, you know, just to hear them and see what we could help them with. And uh, I also thank Charlie for that because he had done so many, wow, so many. Uh, <laughs> favors and, 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 and. Like what? Well, he take these kids out, out of his pocket and buys them what they need. And not only just take, you know, take them and buy them things, but he sits down and talks to them. He pulls them into the office. Sometime I come here just to say hi to Charlie and he has a kid in the office and he said, Angel, what do you think about the situation? And here we are like parents to this kid. 
and this kid walks out like, wow, you know, thank you guys. That means a lot. Yeah. You know, that means a lot. You know, so that's what we're here for. And so to see your son who's not in the streets, but now like this champion, how does that make you feel? Oh, wow. What can I say? We're very, very, very grateful. You know, I'll, I'll call him the gift. You know, for me, Brandon is, you know, my gift. And everybody knows him by the gift. And um, like I said, we got great things in the future um, if we be blessed with the um, become a world champ or come big. World you know? champ. That's yes. right. And um, that's our goal, like all these kids, you know, to become a world champ. Well, we'll, we'll go global with you with the Lake Knox Project. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And is there anything you'd like to say to the Spanish community in Spanish? Because we will be showing this to the Spanish community, to children and their families, because you know, as a little kid, it has a domino effect. A better kid, a better family life. A happier kid, a happier home. So what would you like to say in Spanish as a 15-year-old to your, 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 your peers, you know, how boxing saved your life and, and what you would suggest for them and for your future in Spanish. <laughs> Either one can go first. I'll help them out. Okay. <laughs> Queremos brindar que las puertas del boxeo están abiertas para todos, eh, especialmente nosotros los latinos, hay que mantenernos unidos y sacar a estos niños de la calle. Y si es posible traerlo al gimnasio, el gimnasio no solamente de boxeo, sino es educación para estos niños también. Y sería una gran oportunidad para nosotros conocer a esos niños, sacarlos de las calles para poder ayudarlos a ellos en un futuro. Y aquí estamos en puertas abiertas, brazos abiertos para ayudar a esos niños latinos que vengan y nos acompañen aquí en Harrogate para enseñarles boxeo y enseñarles también disciplina, que se lo merecen. Yeah. Ever since my dad introduced me to the sport, he told me his life story about how he couldn't continue with it. It just inspired me to go train harder and go harder and just succeed nothing, but just to succeed in life. And that's how I wanted to give back to these kids and whatever, like they need any help, like they'll come and be like, Brandon, can you help me? Sure, anytime. Like, I just want to see kids where I'm at today. Life knocks, but we get them once more. Life knocks, but we get them once more. Life knocks, but we get them once more. Ha ha ha! Good. Thank you. 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 Thank you.